Hi, I'm James, and this is just a short tutorial on Maya Toon. So this is just the Toon shaders. I'm going to go into a bit about the Toon line as well. So this is just a start. So to start off, we've got this little mesh of a weird robot creature. So first things first, what we'll do is we'll assign a shade to all of this. So this one here is just a two-tone shader, and that's a one-tone shader. So that's just going to be wherever you look it's going to be one tone shade or two tone shade this is a brightness shade so depending on where the light is in the scene it's like this grey colour here that's going to be in the corners and then the white is going to be here and there's going to be a solid line like separating the two so we'll use that for this robot to begin with so all you do is select your object click this two tone brightness shader and gives you the attribute idea so if you render that out as you can see, if you zoom in, because of this light here, it's going to pick the tones depending on the values put you put in here. So grey being there, it's going to put that there, and white is at the front. It's going to cut off straight away on a deadline. So there's not going to be any like interpolation, which you can set that if you want from this little thing here. So interpolation set to none, so it's just dead on. So we'll move that. Up a little bit. Also, if you want to get a bigger shadow, you can move this along, and as you can see, on your little sphere, it'll create a bigger shadow. So we'll just set that back there. If this will select blue, but we'll make it a bit more lighter. And then for the shade, we'll just select the default darker blue. So when you render that out, as you can see, it's going to take this colors we're putting there use dark blue for the shades over here for the shadows and the lighter blue straight on so we'll move that up a little bit more great so that's to start off with just get get some nice clean edge for your object makes it a little more tunish Delete that for a moment. We'll come back to that. Um, go into the front view, and because this is one polygon object, I have to go into faces to select the individual objects. So this is like his rubber arm. And there's one over here as well. So what we're going to do for these, we're just going to assign another brightness shader. But for this one, we're just going to just make it black. So if we come into here, sign another shader, and just put these down to black. Set that. As you can see, the more you start to build up your colours, you can get some quite good effects. But as you can see, it's not very clear, it's not a very good tune at the moment because there's no lines and it just goes straight from one colour to the next. So to create lines, like tune lines, all you need to do is select your object and add tune line. Now what this is going to do is just going to put a line around the edge, so as you can see. And already it starts to look quite good. So if we get the tune line. Also, if you've got a small computer or something and your system starts to lag, you can take off this display and viewport. So that's what gonna do is just take it off the viewport, but when you render it, it's still gonna render the line. As you can already see, that looks pretty good. It's just separating the colours and the shadows are still coming with the tune shader. So that's starting up. Alright. So what we'll do here to finish off, we'll just go on to the tune line, just move on to a bit. So there's a few object, few options here. Paint effects. What paint effects does is it's gonna put a black paint effects tune line around your objects as you can see here. Offset mesh. If you click offset mesh, what's that it's gonna do is 
copy your whole entire mesh and offset it behind it. So it's quite a good effect because it makes it really, really smooth, but it doubles your face count and your vertices count because it's actually copying this polygon object here. So it's got advantages, but it can cause a lot of render time. There's line width, so you can change the actual thickness of the line. There's crease lines, so as you can see, take that on and off. These crease lines are here inside the actual objects. So if you take that on, these crease lines inside the object, it's going to apply a tune shader to that as well. And also there's intersect lines, if two objects intersect with each other, you can use that. So there's just a few more attributes here. Also, stuff like if you have crease line ticked on, you come down to crease line and you can change the colour inside. So as you can see, if you turn that to red, the crease lines, all of these turn red, but the outlines still stay black. So this is only an override for the intersect the crease lines inside. And also these are multipliers so you can change the width and that will only affect what's inside the crease lines and it's the same for all these so that's just an introduction on tune lining and tune shading and there will be some more videos on the way